Hey, welcome to T4 Adventures. Uh, today's episode, we're going to take a quick look around, just kind of see what I've added uh, in the six months of ownership of my 2023 Kawasaki Terex. So we're going to take a quick walk around. We're going to show you all the upgrades. And uh, I might tell you why I got the upgrades. Some of them are probably pretty explainable, but let's take a look. So the very first thing that I added to my machine, uh, and I bought it straight from the dealership the day I bought the machine, the side mirrors, uh, they did not have any of the rear view mirror in stock. And so I added this rear view mirror. I did get it off of Amazon. I like it because it didn't have the two mounts. It just has the singular mount and it's very, very maneuverable. Another thing I added is the uh, bullet point cell phone holder. This is a very solid option of carrying your phone and having it right here where you need it. Yeah, I just bolted it into the frame. Pretty uh, straightforward there. <clears throat> uh, while we're looking at the front of the machine, let's take a look at the windshield. So I did add this windshield. It was not cheap, but I really wanted this windshield because it did have this option here. You can vent. You can vent it so you're still having bugs and things blocked and you get some ventilation. Or you can just simply pop it up. <clears throat> it's on these gas struts so it uh, holds up there pretty well even in uh, traversing heavy rough terrain. That windshield will stay right there. Pretty easy. So while we're in here in the cockpit, let's take a look at some of the uh, rocker switches that I added. So we have here Squatch light, zombie lights, night vision, in and out. <clears throat> Squatch light, that is my 32 inch light bar, which I also added. It's on the roof, just right over the brow of the windshield. I'll show you that here in a minute. I'll just show it to you now. There it is. That's my squatch light. Great light. Zombie lights. That is these lights right here. I have one on this side, one on the other side, and then one in the back of the machine. That is uh, really lights up the area all around you. And then the night vision is the green lights that I added to the front of the machine. So it's just kind of <clears throat> not overbearing lights at night, but it still allows you to see pretty good and you're just not blinding all your neighbors, you know, if you're out riding at night or whatever. So the in and out uh, rocker switch is for my winch. So this winch here is, uh, I got it from, uh, Tracker Supply, it is a Traveler brand, I believe. Uh, yeah, Traveler. <clears throat> so it is a 4,500 pound winch. So I just drilled some holes in the bottom of the winch plate of the machine to match up with mine. I mounted it and replaced the cable with a soft cable. <clears throat> So note, if you do do this brand of winch, there is a awkward kind of a hand toggle switch to operate it. You can go to Tractor Supply and purchase the UTV version kit, conversion kit, and it comes with this so it will fit in your rocker panel area. <clears throat> so I do have two more rocker switches. Uh, Interior light is for just kind of these fun lights that I have. Normally they go on the front of your car under your hood. They just kind of light up and make it just kind of neat. And then I've got one at the back there. The one in the back lights up blue. The one in the front lights up white. And <clears throat> Jurassic lights is my rock lights. So under each wheel well, uh, 
lights up and I do have an app on the phone I can change the colors and it does all kinds of things so you notice this rocker switch panel does not come with this machine that hole there is a cubby hole just like that one I purchased this 3d printed rocker switch from deranged off-road uh, it works out pretty nice to be able to add five more rocker switches so for fire safety I did add this uh, fire extinguisher and this holder uh, it's not the best holder but man it has worked really good so far I've never had any issues of falling off or anything like that <clears throat> and then uh, this this carrier here I bought it for my four-wheeler that I had <clears throat> I don't have the four-wheeler anymore but it does kind of fit in here and it keeps things dust free and keeps it dry if uh, water and rain so it does make it pretty nice I just wished it was bigger to fill up the whole area at some point I may get something that goes with the machine that uh, fits in there here's the back zombie light and here's that other side zombie light uh, see I added these uh, extra little uh, handles these make it nice when you're trying to uh, stick your head out of the machine to kind of look at terrain you can kind of just the extra handheld and then it helps uh, getting in and out so my biggest upgrade that I did for this machine is I took those 26 27 inch tires off and I went and got me some Sedona trail saw 30 inch tires these have made a huge huge difference and the capability of getting places that normally you couldn't get <laughs> so first of all these uh, lifted the machine about two inches so I'm not bottoming out like I was in uh, places that I've already gone and so that has really helped a lot the only thing was when I put the 30 inch tires on it made it, it did make it taller which is what I wanted but it made the stance a little narrow for the height that it had so I did put in Super ATV 2 inch wheel spacers all the way around you can see them in there in the wheel so that widened the stance up and that really stabled out this machine especially when you're going up and down hills and maybe you're going up and down them sideways uh, very stable after putting those on also it seems to turn a little better it just seems to operate you know pretty good uh, another thing that I did in the very beginning is not something that I added but it's something that I did I did go ahead and tighten up these springs I compressed it down to uh, kind of get rid of that basically I just straightened up the tires on that front end they were really sticking outward the camber of the <clears throat> front end so by compressing those shocks uh, I think I went 20 clicks I did a video on it I can't remember how many clicks it was but it straightened them up so I'm getting uh, even wear on my tires now so that seemed to help so when I did widen the uh, stance on this machine with those Super ATV 2 inch spacers that created a new problem which was when I was in the mud mud would fling up and get all over the side of the driver passenger back here and same on the other side so I did have to order from Super ATV the fender flares so these have really helped keep all that mud off of me we're still getting a little bit up there but not like we were it's probably got like 95 percent of all that off of me so that has been a nice upgrade so for storage i did add this little bushwhacker bag up in the front so it makes a good place for passengers to put their phone and little knickknacks things like that i also have a one back here it's a little bit bigger for passengers uh, this is supposed to go to a fender on a four-wheeler four uh, So I came off my old four but it fits here pretty good and You can latch things on bottle holders things on the side 
but uh it has a pretty good amount of storage in here it has a uh bottle holder here and then there's more storage down on the bottom of the bag <clears throat> and then recently i did add this tube so i just mounted that tube in there it's nice to be able to you just untwist that you can put tools or things like that in there and it's kind of tucked up out of the way and really don't even notice it unless you're looking for it what else have we done oh we just added the uh, tusk spare tire carrier this is a very nice addition if you're going to be doing some long overlanding trips uh, in some harsh terrain there might be times where you need to take <clears throat> and swap out your spare if you have a uh, pretty traumatic tire uh, if it explodes, uh, whatever. <laughs> if you just can't repair that tire on the trail, you're going to have to swap it out with your spare. This is a good way to carry that spare tire. It's a very nice addition, very solid. Well, I think it's going to wrap it up for... Uh, add-ons additions that we've made upgrades to the machine uh, so i've had this for about six months and we'll just show you uh how many miles and how many hours we have on it so we have 437 miles on the odometer and we have 47.8 hours so there you have it it's a uh, six months ownership of this machine i've had no issues at all whatsoever uh, the 20 hour break-in service i did it myself it was fairly easy i did a video on that so that video will show you where to get uh, all your fluids where they go how to get to them uh, all the upgrades pretty much all the upgrades you see that i've talked about i've made videos on i think the only ones i haven't done was videos on was the little mirrors those are pretty easy self-explanatory you can find those all day on amazon uh other than that, I think videos are made pretty much all the other upgrades. Uh, if you have a question, you can uh, certainly leave a comment below. Uh, if there's something I didn't cover, then maybe that you saw something. Oh, I did not do a video on the winch install. Uh, I was kind of in a bind and in a hurry to get that winch put on for a trip, and then I just never got a video of it. So no issues with this machine. This is... Uh, Owning this machine for six months has been awesome. It's great. It's uh, so easy to use, so easy to drive. You can take four people, even with four full of grown adults, it doesn't seem like it hinders the machine's performance at all. It's really a great all-around machine. I've done some work with this thing. I've done some rock crawling, hill climbs, some mudding. Uh, I've had it in the mountains. And it's just uh, been a great machine so far. So you saw we had a little over 400 miles on it. Man, we're just getting started with this thing. we got so many plans for this thing. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and do so. Uh, lots in store for adventure-wise with this machine. Stick around.